Hello, my name is Mike Driscoll, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to give you an introduction to Python classes. Here you will learn about class creation. You'll learn about the, the self argument and what it means. You'll learn about subclass creation and a little bit about polymorphism. And as well, I don't have it mentioned here, but I'm going to talk about uh, magic methods uh, too. So let's start out by talking about Python. Everything in Python is an object. What that means is that everything you create in Python has functions or attributes or both attached to them that you can use. This is because everything in Python ultimately comes from a class. Let's look at an example. So here I'm creating a string uh, with the word Mike in it. You can see that it that it has lots of methods and attributes attached to it. In fact, there are a ton of them, so many that they go right off my screen. There are actually 78 methods and attributes associated with a string in Python. Python also lets you create your own custom classes or custom objects using classes. This is known as object-oriented programming. The class allows you to do OOP or object-oriented programming. But if you want, you can just stick with functional code. That works great in Python too. So let's look at class creation. A class is a blueprint that Python uses to build your project or your object. A popular example that like people like to use is a ball. Why? Well, a ball has the following attributes, size, weight, and color. They have other attributes too, but these are the, the primary ones you think of when you think of a ball. Balls can also have actions. They can do something. Those actions are known as methods in a class. Typical ball methods would be something like roll, bounce, or toss. Let's create a class and see how this works. So here is an empty class, class ball. And you really just use the pass uh, keyword in Python to say, this class doesn't do anything right now. Let's add some attributes. To add an attribute to a class, you almost always want to create an init uh, method. In Python, if you remember functions from my, another tutorial I've done, you remember that DEF is how you define a function. But if you see DEF inside of a class, you are creating a class method. A method is basically a function inside of a class. There are special uh, functions inside classes, though, that have double underscores at the beginning and the end of them. These are sometimes called dunder methods or magic methods. Dunder is a, is a funny way of saying double underscore. And so instead of saying double underscore in it, double underscore, you can just say dunder in it. Um, self, we're going to get to this, but it's, it is a required argument that goes at the beginning of all methods in your class. There are some exceptions to this case, but for the most part, you, it will always have self at the beginning. Following that, um, you have arguments or keyword arguments that you want to pass to your, your method. Inside, you can see we're using that funny self word again, but we're doing self dot color equals color, and this is how you set a class attribute. So now we have class, uh, we have attributes color, size, and weight. These aren't class attributes; these are instance attributes. You can tell because they have self at the beginning. If you wanted to create a class attribute, you would put it up here and just say something like this. Now this is a class attribute because it doesn't have self dot at the beginning. Anyway, we don't need to worry about that right now. Right now we're working on instance attributes. So let's try it out. If we run this code, um, not much will happen because we're not telling it to do anything other than to create the beach ball object. Let's actually print it out and see what we get. So here we're going to print out a string and we're going to say beach ball dot color and its weight. So if we run that, you can see that the ball is red and it weighs one pound. Now let's add some type hinting to it just to show you how you'd add type hinting to a class. 
So in a class, you just do it the same way as you do with a function. You'd add, you tell it that the argument is a string, a float, and then of the return value. Pretty simple, looks pretty much the same, it's just more verbose. Now, let's talk about that whole self thing. It looks kind of weird, so let's try to understand what that means. When you create a class, you need a way to keep track of the instances that you create of the class. How do you do that? Well, let's talk about a couple of different examples. Um, if you create two balls with unique characteristics, you do not want the second ball object to overwrite the first one. You want to be able to use them at the same time. Python classes uses the use the self argument to keep track of which instance is which. Let's look at an example. Okay, so here we have our ball class again. Everything looks the same. Now we're going to create a bowling ball that's 12 pounds and a beach ball which is one pound. Now if you run this code, you can see that the ID of the bowling ball is different than the ID of the beach ball. I have that twice in there. What this means is that the self is basically replaced by the name of the instance. So bowling ball is the self for that instance and beach ball is the self of its own instance. So that is how Python can tell which instance is which. You give it the self a name on the outside when you create an instance of the class. Internally, it uses self. All right, let's add another uh, method to the class to make this really obvious what's going on. So we're going to add a bounce method. You can see that it starts with self and we're not going to pass anything to it. Then we'll also add a ball type to the our dunder init method and we'll make it a string. Now we can say if the ball type is bowling, it'll print something different than if it's a different kind of, um, than if it's a different kind of ball. So now if we go on and create a new bowling ball and a beach ball, and we call the bounce method, we'll get two different things. Bowling balls can't bounce, but a beach call ball can. So you can see by using that, you can check the ball type so bounce uh, the bowling ball dot ball type equals bowling. So now we print this one. Otherwise, we'll print the other one because it does bounce. So again, you can see that ball one and ball two are different because even you know you've just created two different two very different instances. And of course, you could also access the the colors if you wanted to. Let's go ahead and look at that just, just, just for fun. So let's say we want to do ball one dot color is black and then ball two is red. So that's another way to tell that you have two distinct instances because they have different attributes that you can access. All right, let's talk about subclass creation now. Once you have a class, you can take that class and create a subclass. A subclass inherits the attributes and methods of the class that it is based on. You can override the parent class's attributes and methods. So a base class is also known as a parent class. What that means is that if the child or subclass has a method or attribute that is named the same as a method or attribute in the parent, Python will use the child's instead. Let's look at an example. It'll make it much clearer. All right, so here's our ball class again, just to help remind you what's going on. Now let's create a subclass of it. We'll create a bowling ball class. To create a subclass, you pass in the name of the, the base class here. Now you might be wondering, um, what about the ball class? It doesn't have a subclass. In Python 3, all classes inherit from object, which is basically the equivalent of doing this. You could say that uh, class ball is the same as saying class ball inherit from object. It will do the exact same thing because implicitly Python is inheriting from object. In this case, 
where when we say ball, what we're actually doing is we're inheriting from ball and object. You really don't need to know anything about object right now. Anyway, um, so we're inheriting from ball and we added a new uh, method to it. So when we call our bowling ball, we should be able to use the bounce method that we had before. And we also have access to that dunder init because we're inheriting from ball. Let's try to use our code. Oops, we, we messed up how to call our bowling ball. This tells us that we missed four positional arguments, color, size, weight, and ball type. So that was an error on my part. Let's fix that. Here we can pass in, you know, we want a green bowling ball, size of 10, 15 pounds, and we're gonna say it's a bowling ball. Now it works with the exact same code. Now we're just calling it correctly. And we can say, we can call my, my roll method, which isn't available in the ball method. It's only available in the bowling ball method. But you might be wondering, you know, it's a bowling ball. We should be able to default the ball type instead of passing it here all the time. Because, I mean, it's a bowling ball. We said so right here in the class name. How do you do that? How do you pass, how do you just default the ball type? Well, you can use the super method. Super is a way to call the base method with the default arguments. So what we're saying here is we're going to take in any arguments that ball takes, green, 10, and 15, and pass them on to our super class or our base class, also known as a parent class, the ball. And then we're going to default ball type to bowling. Now we don't have to say bowling anymore. We can just run it and it knows that the ball type is bowling because we've defaulted it. Isn't that handy? Uh, if you'd like to learn more about the super method, uh, the Real Python website has an excellent article by one of my friends. And there's also a great article uh, by Raymond Hedinger on his own website about that. I'll, I'll include links to that uh, with this video. Okay, let's talk a little bit about polymorphism. Basing a class on another class is known as inheritance. This is also a very basic form of polymorphism. Polymorphic classes have a shared common interface, methods and attributes. That's what the interface is possibly from their parents via inheritance. Um, I want to point out that you could also make your classes more stringent and you know harder to subclass, or at least more guided in the way that they're subclassed. And that is done through an abstract base class. We're not going to cover that here because that requires its own tutorial because they're kind of complicated. However, I do want to make our class a little bit nicer before we go. Do you remember how when you printed out an instance of the class, um, it kind of looked weird? If you don't, when you print the class, you'll see that it has, it says ball object, which probably isn't that useful to the user or to the developer even. That tells us um, the hexadecimal value um, is the memory location of the object. So this part here tells you uh, this is where that particular object is in memory at the time that you created the object. Not super helpful, so let's make it nicer. To make it nicer, it's usually recommended that you override the dunder wrapper method. And when you do that, you just return a string. So I'm going to give it a name, we'll call it a ball, because this is a ball class. And we'll make it more useful by saying what color it is and what ball type it is. So now, when we print out the ball object, like, like so, print ball one and ball two, it will print out ball, and it'll tell us that it's a black bowling ball or a red beach ball. That is all done by this wrapper uh, dunder method or magic method. If we didn't have this here, we deleted that, and we went back to back over here. Now we're just going to get uh, the ball object and its memory location, because that's the default. And I don't find that as helpful as being able to use that wrapper message wrapper method instead. So if you want to overwrite it and make your code nicer, use the wrapper magic method. There are a ton of other magic methods or dunder methods in Python that you can use to make your classes do neat and wonderful things.